Hi, my name is Handyman Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil in your car and maybe have a little bit of fun along the way. I told Kaylee that I was going to change the oil, and she said, please don't. Please just take it to Jiffy Lube. They do it fast, and it's not that expensive. And I said, this will save us money in the long run, and I should just do it. So I did have to buy a bunch of stuff at AutoZone to be able to change the oil, it turns out, and that was way more expensive than just taking it to Jiffy Lube. But you know, if I do a couple of these, two or three of these, and don't need to buy any more junk, then should pay off. Here's what we need. First, you need a way to get your car up high enough so that you can get under it and access the oil tank tank. And there's two ways to do that. One is you can jack it up with a jack, which I didn't want to do because that seemed too scary to me. I'm here by myself. I just didn't want to mess with another machine, you know? The other way is to drive them on wheel ramps. So I got these ramps and it kind of just lifts the car up. Still pretty scary because I'm going to be under the car, but I don't know. I think I can drive a car. That seemed more feasible to me. You need a funnel. This is for putting the oil in. So that's the last step. I just shouldn't have brought that out yet. What else? I need gloves because I'm going to get oil all, all over my hands. They only sold a hundred gloves. So I bought a pack of 100 gloves. Here's the oil filter. It does look so small to me. I told the guy what kind of car I had and this is the one that he gave me. Looks small though, doesn't it? I got a big van here. I don't know. Lastly, but this is the, one of the first things we'll use, drain pan to drain the existing oil. This was too big. I had all this crap and I was kind of just struggling to carry it all up because they don't have shopping carts in AutoZone even though some of the stuff is huge. I got up to the line, there was a kit. There was an oil change kit that had like a smaller one of these and a funnel and a couple of other things for six bucks. And I was just too embarrassed to switch it out. So I definitely don't need one this big. This is 20 quarts and I think the van only holds five quarts of oil, whatever. I'll probably need some other tools, I'm sure. We'll see if I have all that. So now we're gonna drive it up to the ramps. Let me set that up. I've got these Rhino ramps. It says they can hold up to 12,000 pounds. Seems like enough. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, just, um, you know, I've never changed oil before. This is the first time. So I wouldn't necessarily think about this as a main instructional video or anything like that. I'm just kind of doing it and, and filming it. You know, keep watching or whatever. You might still learn. I mean, you'll learn as much as I know, which if you know less than that, then maybe that's something. Or maybe you could just feel good that you know more than me. You know, that could be a useful video too, just to make people feel good in that way. Let's drive this damn thing up here. You want to line up this wheel ramp and just jam it in there. Uh, hmm. I actually don't know if you're supposed to jam it in there or give it some space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, I'm, I'm gonna jam it. We'll see. Okay, put it in drive. Here we go. Give it some gas. Going up the hill, going up the hill. Okay, down the hill. Whoops, going up the hill. Don't wanna go too hard, but not too soft. Missed again. Strike two, here we go. I'm getting up there. I just gotta get a little gas to get in the well at the top, you know? Here we go. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, oh sh Uh-oh. Mmm. I drove over him. Uh-oh. Whoa, that didn't work. That did not work. You know, this actually did go pretty wrong. Let's try it again. I'm not a quitter. All right, here we go. Feel it, feel it. It's not this hard, it's not this hard. Up, 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 up. Okay. Back down, but I was almost there. Feel it, feel it, feel it. I'm having a much harder time than this warrants, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. And I don't think I damaged anything seriously. It sounded worse than it was, I think. That's why I'm gonna tell myself. Third time's a charm. I, I already said that, didn't I? Whatever, this time's the charm. Put my seatbelt on for this now. Here we go. I'm gonna get this thing on this wheel ramp. Going up, going up, going up. Okay. I'm not up there yet. Did I get it? Oh, hey! I got it! I have horrible touch when it comes to this. Parking brake is on. Turn the car off. Woo! To test the stability of the car on the ramps before you get under it, you want to just kind of shake it a little bit, wiggle it to make sure it seems steady. Let's just try that, huh? Seems pretty good. That moved a little bit. It's on there. Let's keep going. I'm nervous. Yeah, but job's got to get done. What now? We got to find out where the thing is, where the oil comes from. I'm going to use my headlamp, headlamp here. My father-in-law got it for me for Christmas. Three settings. I'm going to slide under there. Maybe I'll use this cardboard box to slide under. This isn't an official tip. This is just what I'm deciding to do right now, but I'm going to use this cardboard box to slide under on my back because I don't have a wheel thingy and I don't want to get my Myrtle Beach shirt dirty. This car seems good, right? Stable? I think so. All right, we're gonna go down there. I'm gonna put the gloves on, two of my 100 gloves. We're gonna try and drain this thing. In order to do that, we need to find out where the oil tanker it is, and we need to unplug it. We need to find a drain plug. That's what we need to find. 
Uh, I wonder if it's labeled or something. I kind of forget what it looks like. We're just gonna go down in there and take a look. Get a delay, get a delay, get a delay, get a lay of the land. So this is just a recon mission right now. I don't have any tools besides my headlamp and my doctor gloves. This is fun, you know, it's kind of like an adventure. There's some danger to it. I've spent over an hour already. All right, last check. <laughs> the physics aren't working on my cardboard slider. I don't know what I'm looking for, really. I'm looking for the drain plug, but I don't know what it looks like. Here we go. I'm moving. Uh huh. Hmm. I don't like being down here. I don't know. 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 Oh boy. I googled what I'm supposed to be looking for, and the drain plug's covered by a plastic undercarriage thing. Oh, I think I found it. This is the exhaust. Something. When it splits into two pipes, you look over here, and this is the the plastic engine under tray that is covering the drain plug. How do I take these off though? These are thingies. All right. I thought it was gonna be done by now, to be honest. I gotta find a socket wrench. Here we go. A little Lego set here. Uh, Loosen. Oh, set it the wrong way. I really don't need my headlamp down here. There's plenty of light. It's kind of hot down here. Shoot, there's so much to take off. Uh, Pretty gross down here. This is taking me forever. I wonder if a team could build a car before I change the oil of a car in a race. I think it would be close. I can't even reach one of these, so I have to use this little slinky guy. When you watch the videos, people just get up there and they just unscrew stuff so quickly, but I can't, my hand can't even fit there. How do these guys just have hands that fit wherever? Uh, I'm not even close to being done and I wanna, Quit. Wait a second, here I go. I'm making some headway down here. One time I was trying to fix a, we had a Keurig, I know. And I was trying to replace a hose or something in the Keurig. And uh, I went to Home Depot and there was not a tool. I couldn't find a tool small enough to fit where I needed to unscrew. And I watched that entire Aaron Hernandez documentary trying to fix his Keurig and then I gave up and we threw it away. Which ended up being the right decision anyway, but not for the right reason. Making some progress. Making some Oh, jeez. I'm just really on edge down here. I don't even know if you can see me. I'm kind of doing it. Take my dumb headlamp off. I'm tired. I don't think there need to be this many screws on here. What's the difference between a screw and a bolt? Okay, I'm getting a better rhythm down here. This stuff is pretty hot down here. Oh! This might be the thing I'm worst at in the world. Just need a minute. How come whenever I do something, it seems more dangerous than it should be? What? Why is one of them different? Ugh, oh, they just gotta make it hard. One of the screws is different than all the other ones. That is rich. Oh boy, my elbows hurt. Unscrew the little ding da doom doom dooms. Put it over here, I got one down. Let's move on to the next one in town. Unscrew the screw, unscrew the screw. A doop de doop de doop de Oh! And that's number two. Next one in town. There's like 16 screws on this thing. I haven't even got into the drain plug yet. I got little oil specks flying in my eyes. Oh, this better be it. It looks right, it looks right. I'm having a bad time so far. <laughs> I wish I was done with this part at least. Ow, it's hot. How is this staying hot? Just a few more. Will it come off now? It's hot. It's really hot. I spent about 45 minutes trying to take the screws off of this plastic shield and then I couldn't get it off and then I looked it up and it turns out you don't have to take it off. I'm gonna put the screws back on and then I'm gonna unscrew the drain plug which is easily accessible. Ooh. God. I know more about the car now. You know how people like build computers or like take stuff apart to put it back together? That's kind of what I'm doing except on accident and I am frustrated by it. The drain plug's right here. Of course it is. Would it kill him to just put labels on everything? Just say drain plug? Why is that a bad idea? <sighs> now I know why they put so many screws on here because you're not even supposed to take them off. Putting them in is a lot easier though. I know why it's hot because there's hot oil right there the whole time. It's like, ooh, why is this hot? Uh, cause that's where the hot oil is. This isn't a cover, this is the tank. Oh, hell. Keep a positive attitude. Almost done, but just screw in. Ow. 
That hurt. Okay, I successfully took a bunch of screws out and put them back in. But now to the stuff that matters. I'm gonna unscrew the drain plug, which I could have done immediately. I know it seems like I am messing up on purpose, but I promise you I'm trying my hardest. I really am. Which, uh, uh, it's kind of a bummer. Let's go find this drain plug. All right, here's the drain plug that has always been right here. Let's see, how do I take this off? Here's the biggest one. Let's work. Oh, this is too big. I'm really struggling here. It's gonna be a 13 millimeter. 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter. Got it. I gotta get in there and I gotta really give it a good couple turns and I should be able to get this drain plug out. Come on, baby. This is taking too long. This really should work, I think. Leverage, leverage. This is really difficult for me. Oh, oh I'm getting it. This thing is really difficult. Oh no. I broke my tool. Whoa. Uh-oh. When trying to unscrew the drain plug, I sheared off this thingy. The metal just came, it ripped the little nubby off. And um, I suck. I mean, I'm kind of strong though. I just ripped metal apart. It's kind of cool. It's pretty unfortunate. Back to the drawing board. Still got the 13 millimeter. I gotta do a little MacGyver. What is this? Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll use this. Adjustable wrench. Or this. What the hell is this? Whoa, this thing looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, I'm using this thing. All right, you little drain plug. I don't wanna strip it though. Oh, I'm screwing this up. I'm screwing it up. Like always. I'm stuck. I don't really know how else to say this. This is gonna take me more than one day. I just ran into a bunch of obstacles. Kind of the upside slash most frustrating part is that I made no progress at all. When I ended yesterday, I was able to drive my car just fine because I it was net zero. We're gonna follow pretty much the same steps as yesterday, but hopefully they go different. I got a new tool, so the bills are racking up here. I got some old WD-40. If that doesn't work, I think I'm just gonna not change it, the oil. Let's get on these ramps. Jam it in there. Whatever. I'm just doing it today. No BS. Come on. I'm still not confident about this part. Uh, ease it up there. Do -do 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 -do. Is it on? No, not close. Ease it up there. A little higher. A little higher. Oh, oh, here we go. Maybe. I think I got it. <laughs> no. I'm bad at this. Ease it up. Ease it up. Here we go. That has to be it. I'm on, baby. Smooth sailing today. Next up, I'm gonna get down there and spray some WD-40 on it. Okay, okay. Check it. I think that's what WD-40 does. Maybe there's rust on it. Maybe someone just tightened it really hard. Back again. So here I have a brand new Craftsman socket wrench. This wrench is a little hardier than my other ones. The frustrating thing is I don't really have any other adjustments that I'm gonna make. I'm trying to unscrew the drain plug just like yesterday. So how do you unscrew something different? I need the oil pan just in case it works and more gloves. I now have 96 gloves left. I also have the oil filter, which I don't know where that goes actually. Figure that out later. Step by step, step by step and day. What is that? New tool, new day. Please, please, please. It's just stuck. Oh boy. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. Come on. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, let's go. Ch -ch -ch. It's not moving at all. Maybe if I tip tap it with a hammer. <sighs> I just can't get it off. There's no other story to tell. Come on, baby. Think, think, think. Maybe you go the opposite way. Maybe this is the first thing that goes the opposite way. No, I'm just gonna try again. Oh, shoot. It's not moving at all. I'm gonna call my dad, see if he has any ideas. It's uh, you know it's the last resort. Hello, this is Pierre Versaco. Can't answer your call right now. Why not? Google how to remove stuck oil drain plug. Step one, warming up the car. I did that. Step two, use a socket wrench. I did that. Step three, use a hammer. I did that. I didn't even know that you're supposed to do that. Step four, use rust remover. I did that. I'm guessed good so far. Step five, use a gator grip. I'm not buying anything else. Step six, get professional help. This is gonna be a tough loss to take if I can't get even start to change my oil. It's a nice day at least. All right. Hi, Mr. Drain Plug. How you feeling? Just loosen up a little bit. Just please give me something, some semblance of progress. Next time I promise I'll just take you to someone who knows what they're doing. <clears throat> We'll get it next time.